What is going on, Pom Pom Gay? My name is Shantae, and I am the mother of the three gorgeous Pom Pom sisters. And welcome back, Pom Pom Gay. And if you are new, how you doing? So in this video, we are doing another protective style on Kalia's gorgeous curly hair, just as the last grips of winter are letting go in North Carolina. So there is this new trend going around on Instagram called the puzzle part. Uh, braids or box braids twists however you want to do it. it's a puzzle part and it just looks cute and funky and something that I feel like I should try on Kalia's hair so I found inspiration off of an IG page her name is beauty can braid I've been following her for years I get a lot of my braiding inspirations from her and she posted this picture of her puzzle parts doing passion twists now I'm not doing passion twists on Kalia I will be doing the Cynicles so I just was like yeah I could can totally do this it looks cute it looks funky let's get into it so my first dilemma let's just go ahead and put it all out that I, I ran into a dilemma as soon as I began I didn't have the correct parting comb I, I don't as many parting combs as I see being sold everywhere I still am just using our regular rot tail combs to try to do this so you will definitely need a proper parting comb to do this otherwise it's just going to take you a little bit longer as you can see I'm moving kind of slow into getting these parts then the next uh situation for me was I wasn't very uniformed on my parts I was just kind of just having fun with it I was just like, yeah, just, let's just do zigzags everywhere. So Kalia may not have a puzzle part look. She may have more of a jigsaw, which is all good because it still came out really cute. And she's going to wear this style regardless for the next two weeks. So that that was my biggest that was my biggest problem i just had to let y'all know so it looks really cute here that's our first one down it took me about 10 minutes just to get that down and then i'm gonna go in with my edge boost for my edge control to lay down those edges and then i am doing the crochet rubber band method which is a method i use to install my very own passion twists on myself if you haven't seen that video i will leave the link for you in the right hand corner for you to click or the link down below in the description bar so which, what this means is I'm going to be tying off her hair with a rubber band at the base because I'm not very good with gripping. So this method works perfect for me. And then um, make sure not to put the rubber band too tight though because we don't want to cause too much stress and tension on the hair. And then we are going to crochet the braiding hair um, through that rubber band or under the rubber band. And that is how we will create our twist. So I'm going to show y'all how I achieve my way of doing the crochet rubber band method to install Kalia's jumbo puzzle part Senegalese twist. That's a tongue twister, ain't it? So just a little bit of definition awareness, the difference between passion twist and Senegalese twist. Passion twist, that hair is usually done on kinky, curly hair, rather than Senegalese twists are done on blown out, blow dried, textured hair. So kind of like that connect line braiding hair, which is why you see Kalia's hair has already been previously blown out before we even got started on this video. So her hair has been blown dried, and I just put in a couple of plaits overnight so we could start the process early in the morning um, but that is going to be your difference there all right so I just saved y'all about two hours of watching me trying to get these parts down packed so this is the end result of her zigzag puzzle pieces and now I'm going in with the curls popping pineapple so fresh scalp treatment and it's just an oil treatment to put a nice oil base down on her scalp she gets really dry scalp in the winter and this oil treatment definitely helps with that dry scalp treatment now after I apply that I will then go in with with a another oil treatment for her hair so I oil her scalp and then I oil her hair for her hair I will be going in with the textured ID day and night moisturizing treatment and I absolutely love this treatment so it comes out like a cream but once you start to rub it together and apply it to the hair it turns into an oil and I don't know why but that just blows my mind so I love using this on hair 
And this will be the only time I will moisturize Kalia's hair. I will not be adding oils or any other moisturizers while she is in this prote protective style. She only keeps her protective styles for about two or three weeks. And if I apply too much moisture to her hair, it can cause a lot of gunkiness and um, it can even make her flaking even worse. So this is the only time I'm applying her oil moisturizers. Now we are gonna go in with the braiding. For the braiding, like I said, we are using the Koneka line. I like to use the Easy Braid where it is already pre-stretched for me because I'm not a very good when it comes to pre-stretching hair. I don't know why one side always comes out lopsided. So to save me time, I just go ahead and buy the pre-stretched hair. Now this one comes with four bundles and I only use maybe two and a half to do Kalia's entire head now when I like I said we are going to be crocheting this hair in so I go underneath that rubber band and pull it pull the hair through the needle now I will be doing two, doing this twice because my needle small it couldn't hold that big amount of hair because like I said we're doing jumbo size so I had to do this process twice to, just to do it in small amounts so two small amounts of braiding hair is going to be crocheted through that rubber band to give me the size that I want for her jumbo Senegalese. Once the hair has been added through the crochet needle and pulled through on one side, we are now going to begin doing our Senegalese twist. Now the trick to doing Senegalese twist, which is kind of similar to how I also install, well it is exactly the same as how I install my passion twist, we are doing a rope twist. So that means we are twisting while twisting so i'm doing it in a very slow manner i slowed it down as much as i could possibly where you can see i am twisting each strand while twisting it around so that we can get that nice tight rope We are going to twist it all the way down and then once her hair comes to an end, I add a little bit more edge control to help her hair blend into the braiding hair and we're going, we are going to continue to twist while twisting till we get to the very ends of the hair. So at this point, I'm gonna just go ahead and speed it up as we install the first three twists. So I'm gonna show you three times. This time it's just gonna be sped up just a little bit, little bit faster so you can kind of get the concept of it. But this was probably the easiest part out of the whole hairstyle because doing those puzzle parts, jigsaw parts, whatever they are, oh my gosh, like I, I really need to invest in a genuinely good parting comb because that was a true struggle, like struggle. I would love to do this style again, but I, I will not do it with just a regular rat tail comb. And I do not recommend you ladies trying to attempt this at all without a a good parting comb because this, this was just a struggle, absolute struggle. I, I can't believe I made it. It legit took me five hours just to do Kalia's hair and half of it went to me just parting her hair. Like, it's just crazy to me. And and she didn't even have a whole lot of twists. I just, ugh, oh my goodness. But it was so cute. My baby looked so cute when she was done. And I absolutely loved it. She looked cute in it. I, that, that, that's all we worried about. That hard work paid off. My baby looked, looked good. She had a nice cute outfit or a uh, hairstyle for the, next, for the next three weeks. I ain't got to worry about doing her hair. If you are new to my channel and this is your first time watching a Pom Pom Sisters hair tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and warn you. Well, I mean, you probably already guessed it. I like to talk. I like to talk through my hair tutorials, okay? This is the only time I really get to talk about hair into in deep depths, okay? So... If you're watching any of my tutorials, be prepared for me to talk, okay? I, you're probably sitting there like, dang, she's going to be quiet. I don't. I don't get quiet. So now it is time for the fun part. We are going to dip Kalia's ends. I'm going to leave them straight. Um, maybe add some curls maybe on the third week or last week, holding on to them if they make it that long. And I just boil some water. 
put it in a nice little picture with a handle on it make it nice and safe for your your kiddo be be very careful at this stage as you see my, my daughter's already cringed up back there and you probably wondering why it's, it's because she's been burned before so she already know <laughs> that this is just a dangerous step and i didn't like scold her like I had I bring the braids out and like one little drop got on her arm and she was hollering like I I was peeling her skin off. It was the most ridiculous thing ever. So I have to make sure I'm very cautious at this step because my kids are just so dramatic. So she's fine. I, I haven't like burnt my I'm not, there's no child abuse going on over here. I'm just simply doing my child's hair. So make sure you ring it. As you see, I'm ringing out all that water because I don't want Kalia over there screaming bloody murder. And then she she's all done. She is complete. Um, we'll probably add some hair accessories later. But for now, I'm I like the classic black braids. Like I'm just I I enjoy a classic look. And this look is absolutely classic. Aside from my jigsaw puzzle parts. I mean that. Other than that, it looks good. She looks really good.